In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to design a label for a milkshake and how to create a mocha for it using a 3D software and Clip Studio Paint. We're going to be creating a label, in this case for a milkshake bottle. We can use this tutorial to create any other product we want as long as we modify the elements to a specific product. We're going to stick to a packaging with product indicative illustrations and some bold typography. As with every project we do, we're going to start it by doing some research. We can research the product we're going to design, in this case a milkshake, to see what kind of designs are the brands doing, or if we already have a type of design in mind, we can research different products that have the style we're going to be using, to seek some inspiration and see what we should do and we shouldn't when it comes to design. In our case, it's also important to look for images of fruits or to take our own pictures because we're going to use fruits to illustrate our labels. With all of those images, we can select the ones that are more important and create a small mood board we can look at for inspiration. With all the previous information, we can now start sketching our labels. We're going to create three labels, but once we have decided the design of one of them, we just need to mimic the design and make some small changes. But we need to keep them all in mind to make sure the design will work with all of them. We're going to create a rectangular shape and start dividing the label into two, the front part and the back. On the back we're going to put all the information of our milkshakes, ingredients, nutritional information, etc. And on the front, we're going to state the name of our product and some important information we want the customer to see at first glance. For the background, we're going to be creating some kind of pattern with the fruits around the text. When it comes to this kind of product, it's important to keep in mind the hierarchy of the information when we're designing it. The first thing we want to be seen is the name of the product, in this case, Strawberry Milkshake. Then, if our brand has some slogan or any other important information attached to the brand, it should be the second thing to be seen. Then, the rest of the information that's still important should be in a smaller size but still on the front of the label. We want to call people's attention, so all the heavy information should be left for the back of the label. We're also going to create a hierarchy there, making bigger and bolder the most important information and smaller and thinner the rest. We are going to have a very basic and monochromatic yet colorful palette for our milkshakes. We're going to take the main color we relate to the product and create some variations adding black and white to the mix. That is, for a strawberry milkshake we'll get the red or pink in this case and choose a couple of variations. Same with banana using yellow and brown for chocolate. To create our final layout we're going to need the real measures of our label. We can have our label and then create a mock-up or do it the other way around. In this case we're going to be creating a mock-up in Blender. We previously created a fast sketch of how we want our bottle to look and we're using it to create the 3D version of the object. I took some time to model a bottle, but for practice I'll show you the basic idea using a cylinder. We delete the object that appears by default and with Shift A we create a cylinder and keep the vertex at minimum. With S and Z we make the object taller and with G and Z we move it to the horizon line. With Tab we go to Edit Mode and with Ctrl R we create two cuts to create the label. Once we have our object created from a very simple cylinder shape, we're going to create the seams of the label and separate it creating a new material for it. In Material Properties we create two new materials. We assign the label material to the label and the rest of the selection to the bottle material. At the UV Editor we select a label and export it at the Export UV Layout to use it for our design. To make the bottle, or in this example the cylinder, we can add a modifier to make it more rounded, then smooth it to perfect it. You can add more cuts as before to make the shape exactly as you want it to be. Here I'm just adding different colors to the materials to show the difference.
When we have the bottle, we're going to do the same as before. Then from the UVs, we're going to export it and create a PNG file that we can later use in Clip Studio Paint to create the final layout. We're going to be adding our label to this file and import it later like I'm doing here to make it appear in our bottle. In the next part, we'll be working on the illustration and the typography of the label, as well as the final result on the mockup we created so we can post some images of our label online.